Because we're in a world now where everyone's telling you to invest, invest, invest in this, invest in that. I want to talk about um, what are some bad investments? Like you see, because I'm saying you deal with people with a lot of money, and I'm pretty sure you see people make some bad investments. Mm-hmm. Um, that's probably like super cliche, but the the money goes away, and they're not telling the people like, hey. I lost a lot of money in investment. What are some investments you think the common or the upper echelon of people need to stay away from? Okay, that's a good From your, that's, that's from good your experience. So what I would say is that I, I think the term bad investment, I think is really about risk tolerance, mm. right? So what risk can you bear? Mm-hmm. I think if you don't have a lot of money, then you shouldn't be investing in certain risky investments, mm-hmm. right? So it, it would be a bad investment for you if you don't have a lot of money to invest in crypto mm. because crypto is very risky, right? Right. So it's not necessarily a bad investment. Now, if you're very wealthy and you put some money into crypto, it might be a good investment because your, you, your risk tolerance is a lot higher. Mm. You can afford to see it fluctuate a little bit. Gotcha. So I think... The mindset of bad or good is you don't. I don't really use those terms when it comes to investing and putting money away. Right. It's more about how risk averse you are. What's your risk tolerance, and how much can, risk can you afford to bear? 